What's up, everybody? This is Andy, and this is the conclusion of Season 5 of the Fresno State Coronavirus Dynasty. We've hit a bit of a skid, and rather than the National Championship or even the Rose Bowl, we find ourselves in the Insight.com Bowl. And what I was just about to mention to the Twitch route... Oh, I don't even have chat capture up. Let's get that going. The chat, chat's been hopping. See, here's the thing. When chat is hopping, that's when I'm least likely to have chat capture up. I just realized it wasn't even on. There we go. So, yeah, there we go. It is. It's the bowl game. It's the bowl game. Yeah, it's okay, dude. I mean, it's... I don't know. It, it's hard to avoid some degree of monotony in this type of game. I've done my best to avoid that by changing up my offense. And actually, Coach Bop had a very astute observation last game, which is I'm no longer doing the thing I said that was very important in Heisman, which is to run the ball a lot because passing so hard you basically open yourself up to a lot of shenanigans happening which all of which are going to remove uh, momentum and make the game much harder but it's okay I mean I, I committed to that and I wanted to do that just to keep this interesting and it's been interesting it has been so so yeah we, we hit a skid so you against USC oh the thing I was going to say and I, I think did I mention it already okay Sounds good, Dr. Bottomus. We'll see you on Discord. Actually, I can do side-by-side. -side. I can do side-by-side -side with Discord and Twitch chat. So I got that up now. Wow, that is... Discord looks terrible when you half the uh, the window size. That looks, that looks awful. How do I get that bigger? It appears there's no option for that. Oh, I see. I got the bat signal, too. I appreciate it. So, anyways, the thing I was going to say, the, the main thing I want to do better this game compared to the last few is better hot reads when there's a heavy rush or just bad pass protection. I got you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And I, need to, I, need to, I need to get the uh, emotes working, too. Anyways, I need to find better hot reads and basically know, know what my hot read is because... Essentially, when I'm getting rushed, when pass, prote pass protection is bad, I find myself either taking the sack or trying to run out of the pocket to escape pressure and get time to throw. And that has not worked well at all. Against worse teams, it can work, but against athletic D-lines, it's not working that great. So that's the single one single thing I want to be better. I want to do better today compared to the last few games. So I'm going to switch over my input here. We'll get this thing cracking. Also, as an added bonus today, we get to find out what our sanctions are going to be. It has to be... We're going to get nailed. We're going to get something. For sure. So, so let's get it going. Insight.com, and now I'm going to mute for a few seconds to cram a few pretzels. And I think we'll get Chris Carter back. So we got to watch for that. He's been injured. It's crazy looking at those offensive stats. They're not that good. The fans have dressed in layers, and we'll see some cold temps. We're like number 50. I notice we don't have a thousand yard rusher or receiver. And I think Carr just broke 2,000 yards passing last game. Also, I think this stadium is fictional. Either that or it's the, uh, or it's the, uh, Arizona Diamondbacks baseball? No, I think it's a fictional tomato stadium. He's the big play man in this offense, so look for him to step up and be the difference. There's no question who I'm buying in this one. The Bulldogs are going to win this game. Okay, let's send it down to our head referee for today's game for the coin toss. Brought to you by Coke. Yeah, it is pretty cool, and I think I recognize it because I think there's other there are other bowl game. Oh shoot. All right, don't tell Coach Bob we're gonna we're gonna take ball. No, no. 
Here's what we'll do. We'll take wind direction and let them pick. Yeah, they're taking the ball. We got the best of both worlds. Yeah, but I think if you, I think, I want to say the the Emerald Bowl, I think is also in the stadium because that, that game was originally in the San Francisco Giants baseball stadium back in the day. I've actually been to that game too. UCLA, Florida State, I want to say 2007. Yeah, we got Chris Carter back, baby. Let's go. All right. Oh, four wide. We'll go, we'll go uh, cover three. Ah, uh, you know what? I actually kind of want to start off in man, so I might go man next play. We'll flip that. Oh, you know, let's let's scout these guys too. No, so no, nothing, nothing crazy, nothing new, Coach Bob. I just mentioned a little bit ago. I'm really, I really want to take to heart your your advice before, which on the hot reads, I really don't have good hot reads, and I think I need to give an honest try. Even though I talk crap, I did talk crap when you said throw it to Robbie. I did talk some junk. I was also a little triggered at that point, but I need to do a better job with hot reads and know what my hot reads are on a given play. So rather, if I'm getting rushed and I don't have time to throw, rather than try to extend the play with my legs, like uh, feathers could could do that, but uh, car not so much. Um, I need to ha probably just go to my hot read. And on something like split and drags, I actually have two hot reads because I can go to the wide drag or I can throw the uh, swing pass. So, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give that a try this game, and I think it's gonna be better. I mean, against these athletic D lines I've been facing the last few games, I have not had good luck trying to extend the play with my legs. That works fine against bad teams or worse D lines, but against these athletic D lines, that's not that good of an option. And also, too, add in the fact that these more athletic D lines, they're getting pressure with four down linemen. They're not even blitzing. They're getting pressure with four, so that means even if I get out of the pocket, there's not a great chance anybody's open. So in that case, it's really better to just go for the for the swing pass or whatnot because at least I can try to make something happen there. Also, I mentioned, too, that I don't have a 1,000-yard rusher or receiver. I think Rouse is at 900-something rushing, and then Wiley has mm, 774, I want to say, receiving. So if we get if we get big day, if we, get a, we get, if we got a bomber day for Wiley, he'd crack a 1,000. And just a regular day at the office should get it done for Rouse. But actually, here, well, the reason I'm on this screen is because I wanted to uh, I wanted to scout. Okay, so their their QB is not mobile at all. So I'm down with that. I, I, running quarterbacks haven't really killed me, but they're definitely harder to defend. Okay, we have a power back. Very strong. Carry not that high. Break tackle is pretty good. What's funny is carry is actually not that high at all. Receiver, they have speed. They have speed at wide out. Not too much size. This guy's 6'2. That's pretty good size. Tight end is, ooh, he's a beast. We've got to watch for him. 80 speed, 80 strength. This is probably what Hayden aspires to be. 84 catch. That's pretty good. O line. Okay, bat center's bad. That's funny. That's real funny. That is a, uh, yeah, it's just interesting that they haven't recruited any setters. Overall, pretty good. Okay, here, this guy's suspended, but the backup is almost as good. Defensive end, looking pretty... St okay, that that's another depth chart fail there. So they have one beast defensive end, left end, right end, not as good. Defensive tackle, super good. They're probably going to get pressure on me. Oh, and then also, let's see, do I have any... I don't have any mismatches at tackle. Both their tackles are beasts on offensive tackle. So being able to jump the snap and, snap and knock them back is not going to be likely. Okay, left outside backer, fast and good. Pretty good, decent speed, fast and good, fast and good all around here. Oh my gosh. Hey, this guy's a little more exploitable. So when we find this guy, possibly on corner routes, this is somebody we could maybe attack. So here we go. Where are we at here? Chris Carter, actual play, we'll play wide out here. Number two, throws it out. We're there. We tried to uh, try to strip it. Alright, we're going with man. Oh! Oh, wow. Okay, we got our hands on it, actually. Usually this ends up badly because it looks like we probably went for the pick. I think that's the animation I saw. Yeah, he went for the pick, but he still managed to tip it. 
Wow. We got a little bit lucky there. Second down and ten so let's to go. see. We'll rush for. We'll put. Uh, no, nah, actually, we'll stick with that. Powell. We'll go here. We'll go. We'll go slot receiver. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh. Okay. Oh, we got lucky there. Why did did he break the tackle and then still get tackled by the same dude? Slipped it. Oh no. Here we go. Is that Slade? Yep, Slade Powell came over. So we got some pressure, huh? Oh, yeah. Tito. Of course, Tito. So they got a few yards. Five wide. Let's do this. Let's go dime. And LB rush. I don't like it because it gets... Ah, it gets... No, no. Ah, darn it. No, we'll go with this. We'll go with this. Uh, no, darn it. Okay, I'm going to call timeout, actually. This is season five. Obsidian. This is the fifth rodeo. Oh, you know what? Let's blitz. Because the thing I was tre had trepidation about is I didn't want to. I wanted to get Carter at DN, but I didn't want to take Tito off the field. Yeah, it's okay, man. It's really okay. So here, let's let's do this. So we got a little ground to cover here with Edwards. Old manual cover. I do a pretty good job manual covering, especially in short space. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, they could go for it, though. Or not. Forgive Pretzel there. For some reason, I thought they were closer to midfield. So, no, no, no surprise they didn't go for it. So, we might have a chance to return here. Flare out to the right a bit. Ooh, here we go. Mm, nope. Their gunner was out there. That's okay. Green. Green is such a beast. I'm really happy. I, I might even think about switching him back to uh, back to offense, man. Like, he's just been so good. Yeah, man. Let's go, dogs. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we might still go with the handoff here. Okay, here we go. I actually tried to spin through that. That's pretty good. You know me, I like to run through the hole. That is how I roll. Fresno State comes to the line with three wide. Nope, nope, nope. So did I have anybody? Really didn't. Uh, like here, I could throw it to Wiley. That's about it. Even that's pretty iffy. So, so Bennett is Bennett running? Is that a post deep? Hmm. That is a. Is it a post? It is a post. I need to look at that post more often because this looks pretty open. Check it out. So if you look, the safety. I mean, he crosses him, man. Like right here. That's that's pretty open. No, and that's what that's why I would look because you're no. I agree completely, Coach Bop. His stats would not be good. No, that's absolutely true. They line up at the this looks like man. I'm still I'm still not completely totally forlorn off of trying to identify man versus zone. But I think this is man based on what I saw. It is. Yes. Oh wow! How close was that to a pick? Oh, not that close. Not that close. Okay, good stuff. Oh, I know. I know. That was sad. You know what? You know what? Also, I, I, I forgot to ever try switching him back. I just cut him. I forgot to try switching him back. Because we had a theory about that. Yeah, okay. So, TB Legendary. Yes, I actually wanted to ask you about that. So, that's one thing that that gentleman, Jacob Scora, mentioned. I think he posted a link to the video of Coach Al where he explains how to do that. Is it just harder in 07? I think it might be harder in 07 because I've even seen Coach Al screw it up. And he's pretty much the master at that. that was a laser but right there, I was right. Now, it, sometimes it's easier than others. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go with, let's go with this early, man. I love this play. I love it so much. Yeah, I've, yeah, I watched the video of Coach Al, and it makes sense. But then, like, what is this? See, this looks like zone, right? But it could still be man. Like, I really don't know. It's, it's zone. 
Oh gosh. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, we're getting rid of it. <laughs> and here, here there actually was not a hot read. And I was afraid to throw these little outs. Like this one obviously is not open. And then if you look at Hayden, this guy drifts back, but he can always run up. So I'm kind of curious if I could have hit a post. Uh, pretty iffy. Maybe Wiley. But I like this throwaway, though. Have, have a look at this throwaway. <laughs> that's skills, man. That is, that's some mad skill. So I kind of want to stick with, uh, I kind of want to stick with two, uh, at least to have one, one tight end set. So let's have a look at this. Second it's second down. Ball on the 32 yard. You know. <laughs> it pretty much was a uh, jump man. Lines up with three receivers. So like this could be man actually, but I really don't know. I actually decided to hand it off. Ooh, ah darn it. That's okay. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Really wouldn't have had much. I guess this is man. No, it's hard to tell. This is actually. This is, I guess that is man. So Hayden would have been open because they'd seemed to bit on the play action, or by, by it they seem to have bit on the play action. So yeah, we got a uh, we got ourselves a third and eight. Let's go corner slit. Can we flip the receivers? Yeah, we can. So another third down upcoming. So the zone beater here is Leonard. If they blitz, we can go Wiley or Rouse. So if they actually if they blitz heavy, we could go Rouse here. Okay, actually, they do, right? So let's check it out. Oh, he had a bad. Oh, oh, no, darn it. He had a suboptimal catch animation. Too much recovery. I don't like it, but we'll punt. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. The ball. I'll just look. I'll just look. Ah. I'm not going to challenge it that early. Let's just look. Right here. So you can hear in the whistle, that's where the ball is. Uh, it actually looks... Here it looks like I had it. So I could have challenged that and maybe won the challenge. Maybe. Oh, I don't want to go for it. it momentum's even. That's a good point. It's kind of too late for that, though. That would have been a great idea. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Calls for the fair catch. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. This drive will start at the 18-yard line. Okay, so Tito has gotten a little pressure. We'll try this. Actually, right, so let's flip that. They come out in a nickel. He looks oh, was late. Oh yes. No. Oh man. Okay. Wow, that was kind of a roller coaster of a play. So the first thing I see is I say yes because I see Chris Carter coming free. Then the guy gets off, just a perfect pass, absolutely perfect. But then we I see we have a couple guys there. So I got excited we could maybe pick that. We opted not to. That's all right. Still a positive outcome for us. Let's try to get let's get crazy here. Dog zone blitz. They line up at the 18. So one, two, three, four, five. I see five arrows. We'll play Rogers deep here. We'll let the zone blitz do its thing. See if it works. Just because we're already... Oh, look at that. So that works as a run blitz, huh? Yeah, okay. This is a little frightening, too, because this is a zone blitz, so what that means is the D linemen are actually going to drop into coverage. What you see here is they all engage. I guess there's only two down linemen for some reason, but they engage, so that makes me wonder, if that's play action, am I getting roasted? Really might be. So here, let's, oh, you know what, let's go to this right here, 335, offset, cover three. Because it's best of both worlds, I rush Chris Carter and we get Tito on the rush as well, so let's try it, let's try to rush. The Irish, come out in a shotgun. Yes. Oh, darn it. Okay. <gasps> ben Jacobs. Yeah. Yes. I tried to do the sign. What a beast, man. The wrong button. So that's the record. That's our man Jacobs, man. Yeah. Obsidian and I were just talking about Ben Jacobs a little bit ago. 
Run Bay Reed. Okay, they're in dime. So I guess that, that's a career record. That's crazy. That's so cool. So we'll see what happens. I'm not going to shift my line. I'm going to see if that left tackle picks up the left end. Oh, no. I, I screwed that up. That actually was going to work. I cut in too far. I was really just trying to run in. I could have manual countered to the right, actually. That would have worked. I might have to try that for that next time. Okay, let's run switch. I like switch. Even though it's not the best play, it's just a fun one to run. I could even go Bennett here. He's pretty evenly matched on his guy. Darn it. Yes, look at that. that. That's one of the best throws I've ever seen by Carr. How about that? Let's take a moment to appreciate this. Let's take a moment. Because I'm throwing this. I know it's a little risky. He's splitting the zone. But look how he throws him up. He leads him upfield. How sick is that? That was awesome. That's that's really one of the best throws ever. And he's been doing that a lot lately, I've noticed. He'll throw routes where the receiver can get upfield. Old faithful. Nine yards to the goal line. Fresno State comes out in the shotgun. We'll try to hang in the pocket here. Steps up, rolling out to the left side. We can do this. No, oh, I tried to. Oh, man. I, I tried to. Uh, I don't know if it was, he dove because I was by the goal line, but I tried to slide. He is. I'm, I'm excited about next year. Oh, let's do, okay, let's see. I think I want to go here and Pia Reed. Yeah. Fresno State has done a great yeah, I hope our receivers are good because we might have a significant downgrade. We're losing Leonard and Wiley. Those are two of our main playmakers. They never come away empty handed. Get in there. Yes. Let's go. The touchdown vulture. We don't care, though. We love Rob your house. They'll line up for the extra point. Yeah, it'll be interesting. It'll be really interesting. Because I don't plan on not leaning on his arm. Here's what could be interesting. What if Feathers progresses and is, like, significantly better? Give you QB controversy. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends it off. Jackson fields it at the three. Oh, come on. There we go. This defense did a nice job last time. Yeah, I think Wolf is. No, let's have a look real quick. Who is it? Yeah, Bennett. Ben is pretty solid. Dudley's Dudley makes plays, man. Dudley makes plays. He's not physically that imposing. He's he's pretty quick, I guess. He can jump. What does his catch look like? His catch is okay, but for whatever reason, he makes he straight up makes plays. Wolf looks pretty promising. True freshman, 80 overall. Oh, look at this. Smith. Hold on. One, two. Smith will be my number four receiver next year. <laughs> He's actually going to see the field. Yeah, you know, that'd be pretty sick. Or I could uh, I could formation sub feathers in at receiver for options because there's like a couple of receiver passes. That'd be pretty cool. All right, four wide, what are we doing? Let's go, let's go with nickel. The will take over at the at the so let's see, we'll put... We'll put uh, Car uh, Carter in the cover here. Cover one zone. Look at the throw. Steps up in the pocket. He got yeah, we're there. Tackle made at the 36 yard line. Boy, does this kid have an arm or what? Are you kidding me? It looks like he has a rocket launcher attached to his shoulder. First and ten. Ball on the 36. First and I do want to play a little bit of man until they basically make us not. I just think it's more fun, more interesting to switch it up. How did that happen? Oh, we got picked. That's frustrating. Yeah, you know. Okay, but putting feathers at punter doesn't guarantee that the wideouts will uh, will know that he's he's throwing it. 
That doesn't mean they'll be able to run her out. Let's do this. We'll cover three. We'll give Tito a rest on one play. Five wide. What do we got? Skinner over here? Oh, we'll, we'll do Skinner. Ah, oh, darn it. You know what? We got a rush. We can't be cheese. <gasps> oh! Yeah, my zone is hard to stop, man. QBs have a hard time with it. That's part of the reason I enjoy running a little bit of man. Just give it a little more of a bit of a challenge. Let's see. Double X. Let's go strong safety dogs. Second down. Oh, that's a good point. I didn't think of that. I think of fake in terms of the pass. Okay, I'm up on this dot tight end. Let's see how we do. Miller, nice. Powell. This is what you call a run okay, we'll go here. Let's he blitz, too. We're sending gun in. Oh, uh, we'll play Edwards. This is a pretty... Look how much space I have to cover. It's okay. Oh, we're there, baby. We're there. And check this out. I kind of... This is... I had a big advantage here. I'm already running toward this guy. I'm already kind of moving that way, so when he throws it, I'm able to just slide over. That worked out great. All right, let's see what we can do here. Hmm. Close one. Nope. Get away. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Get away. We tried to touch it. What do we got here? These are strange plays. Cross punch. How about that? Okay, this appears to be man. So Leonard might be a good one to hit here. Maybe Bennett if they blitz Bennett. Look how he leads the receiver, man. I mean, you could say he should have let him laterally more, but he just kind of gets him upfield. That was really nice. How about the height he got on that kick? And he showed great body control. Do you know how hard it is to get that high in the air and still have the awareness to make it? Let's get aggressive. Half back out. The one I like to hit here, if it's man, is Bennett. Even against zone, Bennett can get loose. If they blitz, I'll go Rouse. Set up in the gun. The there we go. Oh, oh, look at that. Robert Rouse with the speed. Look at this. That's cool, man. Well-placed ball. Turn up field. Now, I just don't like the cursor animation. He comes up. He comes back up field. Not optimal. That's okay. He's so darn fast. Let's see if we can get the ball to Wiley here. Tight end deep. He's coming across the field. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. They'll work from the shotgun. It is. That agility shows. So here are hot routes for Rouse if they blitz. Ah, I should have gotten rid of it. It's kind of waiting. Didn't really see much. So I, here, I guess I could actually go, uh, I go Jensen. Oh, wait, you know what? At the moment I said that, look at this. I thought it was the ref. They're kind of hiding each other. So not really, not really have anybody open. Got really lucky that I didn't get sacked. Let's do it. Second down. It's the ball game. Wheeler out, Leonard. Let's we'll see what we got. I'm probably looking more on the right side though. That Bennett Hayden combo. There we go. Oh, he ran back out of the first down, didn't he? Gosh darn it, I don't think I got it first. Yep, he ran himself out of a first. Was that wheeler out? Did that have any chance? Not really. It's against a dot. Third and one. What do we want to do here? I do like slot whips. Let's try this HB mid attack. Leonard's route looks promising. So is Dudley. I'm actually going to block Robbie because they have the box so stacked. I feel like in theory, if they, I should be able to get it downfield against these guys. Bennett, let's go. Let's go, Bennett. 
Yes. It's been a while since I've had one of those corner routes do that. Where it uh, where it messes up, where they're tackling, they take a bad angle, they kind of they kind of dive themselves out of the play. Yeah, it's been a little while. Kind of want another look at that. So I was thinking about Leonard, but then the DB runs the route for him, so that's kind of out. So who else do we have? We had Wiley. So Wiley's actually pretty open. Wiley got a step. So where was that? Right here? Yeah, I definitely could have gone Wiley. No question. The only thing about that is if it's not... Line up for the extra it, those deep passes require such an accurate pass because the defender will often catch up. And he adds the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. This game is so much easier when you don't throw picks, especially unforced picks. Fresno State is lining up to kick this one off. Jackson and West deep to return. Kicks it away. West from his own end zone. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last All right, what do we want to do here? Let's try some 3-3-5 split. I should, I should enunciate. I apologize. 3-3-5 split. Man. Cover one. We'll do that. So we're blitzing one, one high safety. Skinner on the blitz. We'll man up on the receiver here. Oh, look at that. Right to him. I think they might have been going after me. Yeah, he was thrown to the slant, the guy I was guarding. But he happened to, he kind of needed to wait for him to clear. Because if he waits a moment, Powell will uh, have, to, have to follow this tight end. And he'll clear out. Oh, maybe. Oh, you know what? It kind of looks like Ben Jacobs is actually on the tight end, though, right? Look how he... Uh, yeah, because Skinner's blitzing. So I think Jacobs is actually on the tight end. So I don't know... No, no, okay, you know what? Okay. Ah, you know what? I'm not really sure who's guarding who there. We'll take it, though. Okay, let's do, let's keep a tight end out there. Let's actually do... Let's do the base big set here. What do we got? Stretch under. Let's do this. Here. If this is zone, I could try to hit Wiley. We'll see what happens here. Fresno State lines up in a shotgun set. First down. Look at the oh no. I tried to get rid of it. And he's gonna be sacked for a loss. Hmm. Too bad. Lost a few, lost eight. Wow. Let's do, okay, let's cook this one up. Let's do double option. Let's make it toward the keepers, Robbie. Or pardon me, the handoffs, Robbie. Keepers, Lawrence. Okay, how do they shift? They don't really shift. This is actually a horrible, this is bad. We're doing PA read flow. I think we have time for this. Oh no. Yeah, I saw this guy come free, so I just decided to get up field. Minimize the loss. Oh, he actually gained a yard. Okay. Third and 17. Okay. I'm really okay with just getting a field goal here. So I don't really don't want to get sacked or turn it over. Let's do this. Let's run flanker. We'll call flanker screen. And we will. Uh, I could. Uh, okay, it's man. So that's not as good. So we're actually going to want to go with PA Reed. No, wrong one. I screwed it up. I picked the wrong one. We'll take their second time out of the half. I'm actually going to call that again. Flanker screen, I just picked the wrong audible afterwards. So here they might actually be in zone. They're bunched up, so I think I might stick with the call. Yeah, I don't know what this is, but I think it has a chance. Oh, nope. Okay, we lost a couple, but we should still be able to get the field goal. Wow, so if we go to Wiley, we actually have a chance here. He kind of gets, he has position on that guy. But here, I mean, to me, this looks good. The read to me is just fine. But we don't block this guy upfield at all. Hayden doesn't quite get there. I tried it. Yeah. They're going to try a long field goal here. On the 32 yard line. Pad Gessling a bit here. Is Gessling a senior? He might be, huh? Okay, here we go. I think that's good on the. Uh, here we go. The kick is up. Nice. It's got the distance. 
Nestler is not always correct on having, having the distance, though, so don't don't ever let that get you too excited when he says he's got the distance. I kind of want to just hear the fight song, and we'll see if he's a senior. I think he's a senior, though. Didn't we talk about him winning the Groza all four years? Yeah, it was. It was. It was still a good call. Five wide. Let's go. Let's go with man one high. So yeah, let's look at Gessling. I think he's a senior though. Junior. There we go. All right. What do we got? Oh, well, let's man up on the tight end. We we'll use Norm McDonald. Put six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. Drops back to pass. Oh, no. I tried to pick it, but I didn't get an animation. Did I do it too early? Uh, I, I was really kind of out of position for that. Yeah, he cuts in front of me, so he beat me on there on that one. Three wide. We'll stick with man. Man's just more fun. Zone's a little too easy. I don't know. This is fun. I enjoy this. The defense is in the nickel. And they make the stop at the 20 yard line. James, probably. Just oh, James. Lenny James. We'll keep you updated on his status. Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, three wide. We'll stick with the uh, we'll stick with cover one man. They'll probably beat it, but it's we'll just see what they can do. Let's go. Let's man up over here. Miller lines up as a single back on play Oh, look at that. Ben Jacobs. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Are you serious? Wowzes. Insane. That's unbelievable. He is freaking Superman. Not too many pick sixes in this game either. That's pretty cool. They'll line up for the point after. Well, this is a little bit of redemption. Notre Dame does not seem as good as those other teams. And also, bowl games... I, I, I mean, I haven't had that rough of a go in bowl games. Certainly, West Virginia, the national championship was a little rough. Uh, Wake Forest was tough, but that game was winnable. That was mostly a one unforced error led to an avalanche. Hmm. That's a good question. I'm going to have to write down all the stats or take screen captures because, my goodness. This drive will start at the 20 yard line. This is it's a bit much. We'll start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and Notre Dame lines up with three receivers. Miller. Yeah, we're line. dominating the line now. My defense has really opened up. It's second down and nine. The throttle's wide open. Full momentum. Oh, my D line actually isn't that stacked right now, especially with Lenny James out. My D tackles aren't that hot. Come out showing three wide. He drops back. He's looking for his man. Oh, oh wow. Edwards almost picked that. Third and one. Uh, I don't I don't want to risk too much here. Let's go with dogs. Or dog hold. I don't know what I call it dogs. We'll just blitz one guy. Uh, we'll play McDonald. We just know we have to stay deep. I kind of have to sit back here. Let's get him. Oh, okay, that was good. Tosses aren't that good, but you got the fall forward. So I had good luck last time. I want to run this cover one. First and ten. Ball on the 32. McDonald on the uh, on the tight end again. So we'll do that. That's fine. I need to run up more because I want to be behind him. Ah! Oh my gosh! Come on! I got there. I got there. Does that count as a pass defense? I wonder. I like how he lays out too. That's actually pretty cool. Well, I want to look at the stats, though. Does that count as a pass defense? And I don't see the thing is, I also don't know if he already had one. He has one. Yeah. No, it was McDonald. Yeah, he has one. So I don't know. I don't know. Second and three. We'll play man. From their own 39 yard line. It's second down and three to go. Hmm. I will guard the tight end again. Miller is the single setback. He's in Galloway, there. brought down at the 43 yard line. They get a decent gain on that play. Four wide. We'll keep with this. I'll stick with nickel because the other way. What do we got? Safety on a wide out. We'll run with that. Five DBs on the field. Oh gosh, that was my assignment. I forgot. 
Oh, decked him. That was nice. That was a little too easy, though. I kind of just got in the area and hit the hit stick, and he kind of popped him. Look how much faster my guy runs, man. It's all about that dot power. I get over there. Look, you just see me zoom in from practically out of nowhere. All right, second and ten. We'll stick with cover one here until they start to beat it. Fraser not having a good time there. Notre Dame comes out in the shotgun. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. You're there. Yep. See, they like to pick on me, especially in man. Also on drags. Yeah. DB might be my most favorite position to play in this game. It, it's fun. Man up. It's, it's a lot of fun. Try to anticipate what they're going to do, stuff like that. It's, it's great. Notre Dame lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. Moves up in the pocket. He passes it. Put your hand more. Okay, he put his hand up, but he didn't jump. Banks. Oh, he got a deflection. Look at this. It's another uh, another goalpost situation. You guys hand in there. Okay, let's blitz. We'll send one in. Only 131 the offense. Offensive production stats brought to you today by Coca-Cola. The Irish line up with four wideouts. Looks to pass. Number two lets it fly. And it's oh no! And they bring I couldn't get an animation here. I kind of got a bunny hop. Yeah, his jump is probably not stellar. We talk about this every week. I bet it's good. It's not great. The quarterback and the receiver do an excellent job of recognizing the blitz and adjusting mm. to the play. Good One wide out, three tight ends. They're going with a bigger set here. Let's go cover three. This is kind of weak against the run, so we'll play McDonald up. We just know we have to guard back. It's actually a very hard assignment for McDonald. He's got I got three guys to worry about potentially. <sighs> okay, we got lucky there. Did I even get there, or did he just drop it? He just dropped it. And why isn't this guy reacting at all? His assignment is deep third. There's nobody else holding him back. That's frustrating. But deep third in the end zone is pretty unreliable. So I shouldn't be too surprised. Let's go with a little blitz here. We'll go 3 3 5 with this blitz. All right, what are we looking like? We'll go with the corner. We'll just know we have to get in a trail so we can do a nice bat down animation. Here it is. Here it comes. Nope. Oh, Skinner. Yes. I, my eyes were back here the whole time, so I really don't know what happened. What happened? Skinner, where's he at? In the inside, he's on the off. He's on the center. Maybe that's why he's able to swim. The center is not that good. Got there. That's nice. Probably better for him. He didn't throw it. We had him pretty well covered. All right, third and sixteen. Let's get crazy and let's go with. Uh, we'll go. We'll go cover two man. We've been ma defending him in man quite well. I'm also going to manually try to jump the snap here. The bulldog. Line up in a nickel back. He drops back. Oh man, oh that's crap. He catches another one. Man, look at this. How about I get a great jump and I get destroyed. What is that about? He's just as good as They're going for two. As he is at the we'll run slant blitz. So we basically rush, but we man up everybody. Okay, looks like I I'm not covering the fullback, so that's a uh, that could be ish an issue. Oh gosh, I got sucked in. Well, hopefully we can get something before half now. Interesting, going for two in the first half. I wouldn't necessarily think that the computer has that logic built in. Let's let's run this back. It's also kind of ambiguous as to whether that'd be a touchback. Green. Oh man, I should have sprinted or gotten outside a little bit more. But I like to I like to save my outside runs for later in the play. We'll run uh we're in PA read here. Let's see if we can get the rock to Leonard. I'm gonna spread the line. We'll take it. Let's you know we're gonna be passing more. Let's just go four wide. Split and drag. We'll run split and drag. Okay, if we have man coverage, Dudley could get loose on that safety. That's not too good looking. So, my eyes will be on the right side here. Okay. Oh wow! Blasted. 
Seven yard gain seven yard and first down. Really nice pass, nice catch though. Oh, let's go. I like this play, double cross. I've been having fun with this one. So here, oh, you know what? I kind of want to flip this actually. Because the post is what beats zone, and so I don't want to do that on the side of the dot man though. Oh, gosh darn it. Got lucky there. I threw it super late. I just didn't think, uh, you know, and honestly, because I flipped it, I kind of confused myself. I wasn't sure who was running the in. Yeah, Bennett was running the post. Wiley coming across. So, oh, this guy's in the zone. Oh, you know what? Actually, so, no, pardon me. I meant to say he's in a spy. God, my left trigger's messed up now. So this guy's in a spy. Fortunately, I kind of ran him off. That opened up the middle. Good pick up by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves the okay, clock is ticking, but we're not in a rush. We're not in a super rush yet. Let's go with inside hook. See if we can pick up this first. So Bennett, if it's zone. Oh wow. Oh, I dropped it. That's okay. That's tight coverage. I mean, he got hit right away. That's a little disappointing though for Miley. Oh man. Third and two. Let's go to the old, uh, the old favorite slot whips. Okay, I think I might audible the PA read flow here. He probably will, but and then try to pick it up on the ground. The one he just State sets up or not if they do that, I guess. So this looks like, man, Leonard should get open, potentially. Looking. Yes, look at that. It's going to fall forward. Oh, truck him. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Too sick. I had to stand up for that one. I'm glad to see Leonard get some action because he's a senior. This is his last game. What's well, like a mesh? Everything's kind of working. This does require a little bit of time to throw, although if I'm doing my newfangled hot reads, we got Robbie Rouse. So here could be Leonard again actually getting loose. Uh, you know what? I meant I should have sprinted. I don't even... Gosh, my darn trigger is messed up. Anyways. Yeah, if I ran, I might be able to get it. I might be able to get up to that one. So Bennett was, Bennett did have, kind of have position pretty good there. I know it's incomplete, but still, you've got to be impressed with the zip that he put on. I'm actually going to go back to Peter Reedflow. I have one, I have one timeout. I forgot I called two. From the 36 yard line. It's second they down. fan out. Fresno State hmm. comes out in the shotgun. It's like they're in man again. They don't come off the shift. So Leonard could get open again. Wow. And he, oh, he actually broke the initial tackle. I kind of let go of the sticks. Because I thought he was tackled. Okay, what do we got? How about... Let's go switch. This will be kind of the last play that I run to the middle of the field, probably. This looks like man. Might be able to get, be able to get Bennett here. With four receivers. I don't know if I have enough time for that. Maybe Dudley. Yep, here they come. Hot read. Let's go. How about hot reads? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Hmm. Should I challenge that? No replay. Hmm. I don't know. Do I get two challenges? I mean, if I win, it's points. If I win the challenge, it's most likely points. I think we'll go ahead and challenge it, actually. I think I'm going to do it. Because that, I mean, this is the kind of thing where it's like, oh, I'm up by two scores, but I feel like maintaining a lead at this point is pretty important. Uh, that's hard to say. I mean, if you look at that, if you look at what you see on what you see there, it's definitely a fumble. But you don't know, you just don't know how the computer reads these things. Like, do they read his butt as being on the ground? I really have no idea. I'm going to guess not, though. I'm going to guess it's, it's it play stands. I want to challenge the recovery, actually. Yeah, here we go. Oh, Wells. Uh, let's make sure I didn't get a, uh, any penalties here. Yeah, everybody looks fine. Three wide. Okay, I'm going to go... I'll go with cover one. I'm hesitant to run cover three because their passing has been pretty good the last few... the last possession. 
I don't want to give up a deep ball. I feel like with this, it's pretty good deep defense. Here we go. There we go. That was actually a little spotty at the last moment. I was afraid that I underran it too much. But that worked out well. I was actually in perfect position. So we'll just do it again. Let's guard this guy out here. We'll flip it. Get everybody lined up properly. There's a play fake. Over the middle. Oh my gosh, he caught that. He's all the way down to the 46 yard line. The fighting Irish call for a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Did what we could. Did the ball go past his hand? Am I seeing things, or did the ball kind of go past his hand? What was that? It did. It goes past his hands. We tip it, and then in. It was a double doink catch. Uh, okay, they're actually not in field goal range yet. Let's keep in the cover one. It's first down. Ball on the 46 -yard line. Uh, I kind of want to jump the snap again, even though it failed miserably last time. The defense comes out with five defensive backs this time. Uh, darn it. Drops back on first down. Okay, we tried to... Oh, okay. Thankfully, he got out of bounds. I did try to pick that, I'll admit. I, think that's one of the I will cop to that. To focus on the ball and the sideline. That's exactly mm. how you do it. Go receiver. Notre Dame comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. We're there. Gosh darn it, they keep getting out of bounds every time. Obsidian, sure man. Welcome back. Donald on a wide out, we'll do that, that's fine. I don't have speed though, so I gotta be careful. Gotta give cushion here. Yes, that's what we needed, Rogers. Let's go. Way to turn and catch it. Okay, yeah, no problem. What a play. He's been making plays like that. That's not the first time he's turned around and caught a pass like that. Uh, okay, here do we, what do we want to do here? Let's, okay, we don't have any timeouts. I kind of want to run this, actually, let's run this HB screen. Let's see how they come out. Okay, they stack the box. This is really interesting. Stacking the box. Oh, my gosh, what is this? Why would they do this? I'm actually going to clear that out. Dudley might get loose here. Probably going to have to throw it to Rouse, though, because they're going to be... Oh, man, almost. We'll run hurry up. I don't know if we'll get up there. Uh, I don't have a timeout, I don't think. Uh, he was doing an animation, so we're not getting another playoff. That's okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I almost got the playoff. Yeah, the interception was clutch. We're about to give up some points, potentially. So let's check out the stats. 192, 177. That's pretty good offense. Not great rushing. We also haven't ran it that many times, have we? Rouse, four, yard, four attempts for nine yards. Passing's been pretty good, though. Wiley looking good. We're spreading it around. Illinois State. I think they are. Oh, yeah. Are they the Redbirds, perchance? What's their mascot? I'm trying to think. Yeah, man, there you go. I think they're in here. Now, you couldn't play a season with them? That's awesome. I'll have to, we'll have to look. We'll have to look. There you go. Reggie Redbird. I don't think you can play a season with them, but what you can do is you, you can start... You can do a season if you take a team out of a different conference and put them in. So you could go like, oh, let's take... Let's take... Northwestern out of the Big Ten and put in Illinois State. You could do that and then play Northwestern schedule. Surpassing yardage is good, but they've thrown that many picks. So offense is looking pretty good. Yeah, we'll check them out. We'll check them out. We'll see how good they are after this. If you, if I remember. Oh, let's go green. Oh, green. Here we go. Not bad. We'll yeah, we'll check it out. out there we go. Uh, well, the thing is, they're not going to be good because the they're probably like a like a like a D plus or something. Most of the lower division teams are not highly rated at all, unfortunately. We're doing it. We're doing it. Let's go. Look at that. And that's what I've been talking about. The whiteout. The wide man going on a post to get zone. Look at that throw. 
That was awesome. QB sweep. Let's run tunnel screen. Let's see if we can catch him on a, on a rush here. Okay, they're in man. Rouse might be the way to go. If those safeties come up, we could go Hayden. The bulldog. Come out in the shotgun. Hmm. Yeah, let's we'll go out wide. Go down. Dives for extra yardage. Pick up of about seven that time on the screen play. Turn arrows. Second down and three to go. This looks like it should be man. Let's uh let's test. With three wide receivers. Yeah, it looks like man. So we should be able to hit the slants. Bennett or Wiley. Kind of depends. I'll probably look at Hayden. I'll probably look at this Hayden-Bennett combo here. Ah, darn it. Ah! I hesitated. I could have gone to Bennett, like, here. It just scared me. I didn't... I don't know why. Third and three. We'll do slot whiffs. I like slot whiffs a lot. It's a fun play. Third down. This looks more like zone, but alas, I have no idea. It's super, uh, it's, it's super unreliable. Yes. Oh, get in. Yep, he got it. He got the first. Oh, yeah. We dial that, want to dial that up? Or you mean on that play? I, I've gotten away from that because, and really, it's not like I've had big issues with it, but the way it requires, it requires a good pass from Carr, but Carr's looking good right now, so it really shouldn't be a worry. This appears to be zone. Here, you know what? I might keep this and just see if I can hit Wiley on the post. We'll see what that safety does at middle safety. Probably either Leonard or Wiley here. He comes up. He comes up. Look at that. Oh, wow. Okay, so I actually expected that to get caught. He's pretty close. Okay, so he got boxed out. He got boxed out. So who was open down here? Leonard kind of. Or actually more like Bennett. Bennett Bennett's kind of open. Not really, though. I still like my read there. Rouse is more open, so he, he'd get probably like five yards if he caught that. Yeah, I mean, it's not as... Rayso, what's up, man? Oh, the wheelie. He, I don't think he would have got as many as, as much yardage as it looks like. I don't think... Like, when he's running out, they come up really quickly. And also, it starts out fairly behind line of scrimmage, so to me, that's kind of a dicey one. So this is double running back. Can we get him off this shift? No, we cannot. Okay, so we'll go to the right. Oh, look at that. Nice blocking. Nice blocking. At the Love it. Pick up first, guys. Somebody did say wheelie. Okay, we'll run the wheel route again. And so if it's open, I'll throw it. So there is a wheel route. Wheelie smash. So this is to Leonard. Leonard, meme supreme. How fitting would it be for Leonard to catch a wheel route? He's our meme man, and he's going to catch the meme pass. So let's have a look. I really don't know what's going to happen here. If this... I'm going to have to go Dudley or Bennett. Pardon me if they blitz. Yeah, I'm just going Bennett. I didn't... He's on a linebacker, but look, the guy's running the route for him. He wasn't going to be open. I mean, he's going to be open enough, but I just don't... I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, mesh switch. Let's, what's in the tight formation? What do we got here? Clear out. So this looks pretty fun. Let's run this. Kind of looks like man. I think we're looking at Dudley or Bennett. Well, if they blitz, uh, I'll probably go Bennett. Oh, look at Bennett. Okay. Oh, darn it. That could have been a pick. Not a great throw. I precision passed wide, too, and he still kind of underthrew it. So who did we have here? Robbie. Robbie kind of got jammed up. Wiley. Wiley's probably the best prospect. That's probably a touchdown if I throw it. I just don't really throw deep, straight passes like that, though. I wanted to go Bennett. Or, pardon me, I wanted to go Dudley, but we had a middle zone. So... Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good. So, what are your reads on that then, TV Legendary? Just out of curiosity, because I don't, I don't have as strong of a read on that one. Oh man, you know what? I'm gonna flip this. Yeah, I'm gonna flip this, and that way I can hit Bennett. If it's zone, I can try to hit Bennett on the post. I actually might even want to give it to Robbie here. Actually, let's we'll, we'll read, we'll read the side there. Oh no, no I want to get this guy up here though. Oh, no, I forgot it wouldn't let me snap it while he's in motion. Dang it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because the safety will get held in by the post. Yeah, I screwed that up. I'll actually run the same thing. 
I forgot that I can't snap it while that guy's in motion. I mean, per football rules, you can. I just, or here in this game, you can't. Bennett. Oh, no. Oh, he came back for it. That was sick. That was sick. Also, very lucky that this pass was fairly on target considering I got hit. So this is actually a man, huh? That's actually a man. But he had inside position. Yeah, not a good pass. So that pass probably isn't much worse for him getting hit because he typically throws that really poorly against man. I just thought it was his own. Kind of running out of plays here. Let's see. Halfback angle. Hmm, he'll try it. The pressure turns up when in the red zone. And that's this is man who get Wiley on the out. I really don't know actually what I'm doing here. Oh no. Oh gosh darn it. I really didn't know where to go. Yeah, I didn't like any of that. Robbie's kind of open, but for some reason it just doesn't work out that well. That wasn't, I know, the way he came back for it, I was like, whoa, that was, that was really cool. So let's run QB slot here. Let's just, I don't know. I might audible out. Okay, this could, this has some potential actually. Oh no. Oh, gosh, everybody's getting ping ponged. I got stuck. I thought I was getting tackled. And then he car comes back. Like I know I don't really have nowhere to go. So I do lose yardage there. I think I lost two. 19 yards. Oh, uh, let's go with this. I like this one right here. Where's the, uh, this one right here? Halfback out. So what we'll look for here is if we can get a bunch of time to pass, we'll go for Dudley. We'll let Hayden, we'll let everybody run the routes. We'll see what we get. Ah, darn it. Oh, Leonard. There we go. Let's go. Beautiful. Let him know. Let him know, Leonard. Meme Supreme. Thank you. The way he came free was like, wow. I just, sometimes, sometimes they're so... <laughs> I'm glad I didn't torture you guys too badly. Look at the time to throw. I do kind of stand in the pocket. Yeah, he goes for uh, Hayden. But also, I don't think I recognize that like too badly lately. I mean, that's like right here. You can say he's really open, or even like right, like right here. So pretty much when he comes open, I pretty much throw it. Like that wasn't that bad, right? <laughs> Was it that bad? Like for me, that's not that bad. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, it wasn't that bad. Man, everybody's getting in on it. Did Wiley get a touchdown? Wiley got a touchdown, right? <laughs> a lot of things in this game feel like an eternity. That's definitely one of them. Did, did I, what, what are the stats looking like? Wiley didn't get a touchdown. He got 65 yards, five catches. Leonard, we're spreading it around. Ralph's still five for 21. Not that good. Might have to give him the rock a little bit more. Jackson. All right. Let's stick with the defense. So if they, okay, here. If they get a couple of first downs, we'll go to zone. We'll just see how it goes. Oh, they benched their QB, huh? Or he's hurt. This guy can run, too, actually. So I got to watch out. Man Jacobs. And that's his seventh pick of the season. Let's go. This kid has been around the football this entire season. Is that three picks? Yeah, right? My goodness. Center field. Don't throw the ball towards this guy. Exactly. Don't throw the ball toward him. Yeah, so he's trying to go for the guy I'm guarding. So he has position and he's getting the warp. So this guy would catch it actually if uh if Jacobs wasn't there. Wow. He did. He's like, I've got a new, a new uh, uh, receiver enders. Let's try this. He's like, yeah, I have a new land to conquer. We're going for this interception record. 
lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He looks. He's rolling left. Throws Look at Wiley. Unstoppable. He's unstoppable. And also, this is just an excellent pass as well. What a good pass. Puts it right over there. Could have thrown it wider now. Could have. Yeah, the defense came with a blitz. And but, uh, how is this? Let's just try to get one to Wiley now, can we? Can we do that? Will you guys allow that? Let's look at arrows. So last time he came free on this. Okay, this looks like zone, though. Uh, I think it's zone. We're just, I'm going to audible right now to save a few seconds. We'll do PA read flow. All right, so we'll see what they do here. Look at Robbie. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, he got in. That was awesome. I had to stand up again. Oh, that was good stuff. Yeah, get loose, timeout. Get loose. Look at this. Runs right by him and gets to fall forward. That was awesome. It did. It, it did. I know you meant looked. It did, man. Too sick. Just gashing him. That looks like that looks like real Fresno State Derek Carr offense. That really does. Running it in from the 15, 18 yard line in the red zone, straight up the middle. That totally looks like Fresno State offense. I, I want to see it again actually before the re re replay runs out. That was awesome. Hold on, what am I doing here? And like they all react. The defense actually reacts. But look at here. Look at Leonard. Leonard says, I'm not content just catching TDs. I'm going to set up a TD. Seal it off. And then the guy, so Robbie's so darn fast that everybody has to go into a trail. Because if they're if they able to strafe and cut him off, it's different. But they have to trail, so which means they're tackling from behind. Gets that full forward. That was awesome. Sounds good, Obsidian. Oh, I did. Did I not kick it high enough? Sounds good. Oh, yeah. You got to remind me if I don't, but I'll try to remember. Yeah, it really is. That's see, that's why I like trying to go to hit the hole. Even if it is not as good as going outside, bouncing it out, it's more fun. It's more satisfying. And this is just a booming kick. So is it... How close are we to the fourth quarter? I don't know. I don't really need to sub guys out, though, because if guys get hurt now, it doesn't matter. I'm only up 30. I mean, the game is Richard Jackson out six weeks. I mean, it's not like they couldn't come back. Stranger things have happened. Notre Dame comes to the line with three wide. Stucky fakes a handoff. Throws. He gets hit out of bounds. At the 25 yard line. Yeah, we'll probably try to get. Probably try to just take this to the fourth. We'll go cover one. Yeah, you know, it's Notre Dame. They deserve it. What? Oh, wrong game. Okay. Nice. Pass defense. Stack them up. That'll make it third down. Let's run a blitz. Let's blitz them. Um, yeah. Third down and, six yards and Jacobs, let's give him a chance at a sack here. Let's go Tito. Nickel defense. He might run, though. Got him. Let's go. Comes up with a sack. Tito. How did they get to him there, guys? I'll tell you how they got to him, Brad. They brought the blitz that time. That was awesome. They confused the blocking scheme. Miller outs all day. Yeah, if we want them to pad their INT stats. This freed up a lineman for the sack. Yeah, sometimes it's as simple as it sounds. That's a good defensive call right now. Yeah, so I just, what else? So here, and I've talked about this before. When you rush, basically when you rush one guy, it's almost sometimes not worth it to try to jump the snap. Did that sound last way longer than it should have? Uh... Sometimes it's not worth it to try to jump the snap if you're not blitzing someone. Because if you look here, the center, 65, rotates over to pick up um, to pick up Ben Jacobs. But that frees me up. He basically means he can't rotate over and get me. That allows me to get the sack. So if I'm not blitzing Jacobs, the center most likely comes over and covers me. And then I don't get that pressure. Green is back deep to return the punt. I might just fair catch this so I can get more offense. Actually, I might run off of it so I can get more offense. Green be around for a while. We can, uh, he'll get more. Oh, no. <laughs> of course, it bounces forward. Just Notre Dame's luck. Of course, it wouldn't bounce back and roll for another 20 yards. We'll run, let's do receiver middle. Yeah, let's do this. They'll 
Ah, uh, except Wiley on that post. Uh, okay, he's doubled up. Okay, it's actually Bennett should get open here. Bennett or Leonard. We'll see how open Leonard gets. I don't think he'll get that open, but you never know. Ah, uh, darn it. Uh, really didn't have anybody. They guarded this, so this pretty much erases Bennett. Bennett's running a deep in. And then Leonard. So he got open. That route just scares me. So it's okay. God, we lost 12 yards. Ugh. I'm sorry about that. That's that's bad. That's bad. Let's see if we can get back here. Pay read flow. We'll flip it. Second and long coming up here. Oh, interesting. Safety up close. So let's flip it back. The bulldog set up in the gun. He moves back. He moves back again. Let's get uh let's get let's get let's get Leonard up here. This actually might be a handoff here. Yep. So we got that back. Okay, third and ten. What'd it do here? Let's go inside hook. So we got a man and a zone beater. Man beater is the deep end. Zone beater is the post. You know what? It's Wiley. We'll throw the post if that safety's covering. We don't care. I, I was open to it because... Uh, actually, we can look at it real quick. I was open to it because they really didn't have anybody over here. Like, there's no DB. Um, really, I was just looking at the safety and the linebacker, and neither one of them shot out. So, yeah. Car set to go to the air. Looking. Look at Wiley. Let, let, oh, look at him sit down in the zone. Not the best pass, but it's where the hole in the zone was. How sick is that? This off offense in this game is so much more fun if you focus on getting it to your wide guys because it's honestly much easier. It's way easier, in fact. Way, way easier to focus on your slots and your tight ends. Let them run outs, let them run posts. That's way easier. It's much harder to do this kind of thing. And I'm not like tooting my own horn. I'm just saying it's harder to do. You have to stand in the pocket. Plays take longer to develop. Uh, yeah, yeah. I kind that's, that's just the thing that I do. Yeah. So in, in PA read flow, I always bring that guy up. I bring it up to the backfield so you end up with this receiver's right here or vice versa. I bring this guy up and it's like when it's flipped. But say with this orientation, I'd be bringing this guy up here. And what that does, he runs a zig where he goes like out and then out like this. But he, he gets jammed up a lot and I don't really throw it that often. But what that does, that's the one that clears out this, this route to be like boom and then straight across. Yeah, yeah. No, I know, I know what you mean. Oh, um, the main option there, like if it's, so I mean, so that's, that's, but I mean, P read flow is the one where, where I used to run it with Wiley in strong slots and he goes, he does kind of like a slant and then flattens out and he gets open. Then if it's zone, you have a deep post on the outside. Let's run stick. I have no idea. I've never run this one. We're just trying to see what we can see. Leonard. I don't know who is doing what on this play. So this looks like zone. So I think we're going to want to go. It's like Leonard if they blitz. Otherwise, maybe Rouse. I'm really not sure. Yeah, I don't know. We'll just run for it. Who did I have? Really nobody. So this this frightened me because Leonard frightened me because a lot, I see this guy run up. A lot of times you'll see this safety run up and he'll be a spy. So if he's a spy, he's actually going to sprint up and then stop and sit in a zone. I mean, it's a spy, but he's going to sit there, and he, he's viable in pass coverage for shallow stuff. So I didn't really want to sit around and see if that was the case. So I'm like, yeah, we'll just we'll take off with it. Second, see if we get this off in time. Receiver corners. Leonard Bennett. Wiley on the post. Or corner, excuse me. Let's see if we can get this off in time. I wouldn't mind hitting Wiley right here. Okay, let's go, Rouse. He's super open. So who did I have here? Right, yeah, definitely not Wiley. Yeah, Rouse is the way to go. Kind of what we had this post, I think. Leonard. Leonard. Uh, not really. I mean, he's, he's open in, as far as where he is, but he's running toward that guy. Looking pretty good. Bit of redemption. What else can we get here? Shotgun trio. Uh, let's see. Two back slot. Let's run double option. We'll run keeper. We'll, we'll, we'll run keeper Lawrence. Let's get Lawrence some action in a bowl game. 
He looks like he's getting it too. We'll read it though. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, a good deck. I was hoping to get a fall forward there. Well, I'm sure he didn't want that kind of taste of action. His head probably hurts now. Let's 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 switch it up. Oh, you know what? How about this? Strong slots. Let's run QB slot option. Yeah. It's second down and ten to go. We can open it up a bit. We're ahead by thirty. They line up in the shotgun. Oh goodness. I might still keep this because of their alignment. Let's go. <gasps> Wiley! Drop him! <laughs> that would have been too sick if he got in the end zone. All right. Let's see what we can do about a pass play rather than just run Old Faithful like we usually do. Uh, okay, let's go back to normal here. We'll run split end drag. I actually like this here because also the corner could get loose. Corner out, I should say. Leonard. So we'll see what they run here. I could try to shoehorn it into Wiley. We'll see. Yep, yep. Oh, no! Oh, okay, that was down. That was so down. If I challenge that, I should win. Ah, come on, get there. Okay, I didn't want him to dive and miss it. And I had to resist the urge to do replay, because if I hit replay, yeah. No, you get two, I think. Yeah. So, I mean, he's super, 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 super down. He's about as down as you can get. Yeah, I, I was pretty, for some reason I was thinking it was two. Unless the ball just oh no it's out of his hand it kind of rides down with the with the defender, so that's a fumble. The way the ball kind of traveled down perfectly in sync with Carr made me think it was he was down, but I think the ball is out. Yeah, the ball is out. It was just traveling down with him. Not too bad. Yep. See, look, see how it rides down, and from my angle, you're back here, right? Because you're the, in like the QB cam. I just see it go down perfectly. It looks like it's in his hand. So here, oh, you know what? This might have been a pick, anyways. I'm going to Wiley. It might have been picked by this guy. So, hmm, too bad. All right, let's make sure they don't come back. Let's go, we'll go cover three. Let's see this backup QB try to split his own. Oh, uh, we'll rush. Late, late jump, huh? Oh, we tried to get there. That's a good idea. We'll do that. I'm down. So here, James in coverage. LRB. Let's go, Johnson. Ah! <laughs> there you go. Oh, no, I ran out of the way. He picked the other guy. I should stop switching around. <laughs> Take it. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, where is Monster 3 Buck? I think that rush. No, that looks like it's going to rush Carter. Flip it. Oh, okay. He doesn't rush on either one, huh? That's kind of garbage. Whatever. What am I even doing on this play? And they make the stop at the 16. Miller gets okay. three yards on the play. Blitz him again. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 16 yard line. Well, actually, we'll go here. They come out with three wide receivers. Wants to get it out. Get there. No, no. Okay, good. He's taken down at the 15. I basically always assume it's a touchdown whenever they slip a tackle. Uh, let's just run the same play. Let's run the same play. I want to see if I can use her blitz. Actually, I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to tick down if they don't snap it right away. Okay. Got there. Oh! Got him. We laid quite a hit, too. Let's see. Boom. So they're probably going for it, right? Yep. We'll run, we'll run dog gold. Let's challenge these guys. Flip it over to Jackson. It's just, it's hard to get a great jump and knock him back two plays in a row, so we won't try. Oh man, burned. Well, man, my guy was kind of in position, but he runs away inexplicably. Who is that? 
Gun. Gun usually does better than that, I thought. Rogers is our main man for getting picks, though. So let's see. We're up by 24. We'll run, uh, we'll run car out one more time. Splits the uprights with the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. All right. The hands team comes on the field for this onside kick. Here's the onside kick. Okay, they get to go again. The legal procedure on the kicking team. We will re kick. It looks like they're going to go for the outside kick. Off. Here goes nothing. Another one. Legal procedure on the kicking team. First down. Is there a screen in here? Yeah, here we go. It's first and ten. Ball on the 34 yard line. Okay, this is most likely zone. Usually these are zone, these dime. These dimes. Let's see though. He dropped back. Wants to throw a screen. And it's caught. Ben Moore. Tried to spin it. He's pushed out of bounds. At the 31 yard line. That was his 60th on the catch play. of the year, guys. He's had a great year so far. He always seems to be on the same page as his quarterback. Yeah, and the offensive Ball coordinator on the done a good job of figuring line. out ways to get this guy to football. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. He looks. Uh, I knew he was going to get popped. That's too bad. I should have thrown it earlier, but I, always, I usually wait for these guys to kind of clear a bit, so I was waiting for him to clear that guy, but then to put him right in line with the dot. Nope. Yeah. It's not easy. Is that in here? Tight end corner. Where is that? Double skinny. Slot drive. Cross punch. Let's run this. This looks like zone. Good hit Bennett here. Let's just try to not get sacked. We can go for it if we don't get this. Uh, get there. Oh, fourth down, huh? We'll go for it. Old faithful. Old faithful number two. Is this man? It does look like man. I can't. Uh, I'll block Robbie. I think it's man. Yep. Yep. No, he's boxed out. Oh, I got it. Off the tip. That's when you know it's your day. That's when you know it's your day. So I was right about the man. I kind of backed out. So it looks like uh, Bennett was actually more open here. That guy was really well covered. We just got lucky. All right, let's run. You know, let's just run like Peter Reed. Let's run out of here. Peter Reed. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters. Who can I motion here? Him, him. With four wide receivers. Make him out a little wider. Rolls to the let's right. run for it. Oh, let him know. Yes. Him at the three -yard line. Awesome. What do we have here? Slant outs. Anything useful? Stretch under. Stretch under. Tight end delay. Tight end flats. Let's run slant outs. I really don't know if this has any chance. Jensen could get loose. We'll block Rouse. Really nothing there. We can run it in probably. Let's run it in. Ah! Yes. Great, great pass protection. What they do? Rush two guys? How many guys they rush? They only rush three. Offensive line doing work today. So did I have anybody? Uh, maybe Jensen here. I could try to zip it in. That's about it. After that, uh, same with Hayden, I guess. Uh, no, Hayden has a dot man next to him. So that was probably the way to go. So the kicker lines up for the PAT. This is good vindication. That we still know how to beat good teams in this game. But a lot of it's turnovers. I mean, Ben Jacobs is great, but um, those picks that he's he got were pretty random. 
I mean, I, I just didn't get those random dice rolls against Cal, Arizona State, USC. Not the defense. Here's the offensive production statistics sponsored by Coca Cola. Yeah, how are we looking on, on stats here? 315. Yeah, that's all, that's really nice. 300 yards plus is always really cool. Rouse, 7 for 47. He's gotten some catches, though. So he's got, uh, which we need to try to get him 100 all purpose. He's got two touchdowns, though. Wiley with a 100 yard game. I'm happy about that. I'm real happy. Notre Dame. Goes with the ace set here. Play fake. Look at that. Comes away with a Tito set. slipping him. Nobody blocked over there. That works. So why did he? I didn't tell him to blitz. I didn't tell Jacobs to blitz, but I guess he was manned up on that running back. We'll stick with it. We've got a second and long. Ball on the 16. This has been one of the most fun offensive games I've had, I think. They're in the eye. Throws. It's complete. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. Well, Coach, a short pickup on that pass play. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those guys getting open underneath... And we'll get, uh, we'll get Feathers out there for this last drive if, if we get the ball back. Oh, uh, we're not there. Darn it. Another catch. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great-looking pass to move the sticks on third down. We've got a first and ten. Ball oh, hold on. That was Blitz Jacobs. Let's see if we can get him a sack. <gasps> yes! Oh, he hit the QB. Nope. I thought he was going to get there, man. Look at this. QB just took his time. That would be pretty sick, actually. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca-Cola. Yeah, let's try to get like an INT or something right now. Carter, we'll, we'll manual. We'll see if we can get him to throw it to us. I think the pressure forced that miscue, guys. Yeah, good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Darn it. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I run committed. It was an accident. I meant to do a, a defensive hot route. Crash three. You know what? I'm actually going to spy here. I'm going to spy. I'm going to spy you here. Uh, oh, I'm actually supposed to blitz on that play. Oh, no. Hmm. Okay, let's go flat cover three, see if we can pick them. Just cover three, no blitz. I have a good feeling. Can Ben Jacobs get his fourth INT? He got it! He got it! <laughs> that was insane. I can't. Well, I mean, as soon as he threw it, I was like, dude, he's flashing. Four INTs for Ben Jacobs. This is all time great college football player right here. See, now I'm swinging back to where I'm glad that he, st he stuck around because this is an insane career. Yeah, let's get a. Uh, Bennett, there's always next year. We'll get Smith out there. Exactly. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So let's see if we can hit Smith on a drag. Can he tra take a drag to the house? We'll find out. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. First down, look at the throw. He rolls out to the right. Oh no. Oh, he got stuck back in bounds. Okay, I'm actually going to hurry up. Because I don't want him to review it. Let me tell you, they were very Come on. That that one wasn't taken in for the score. He got, watch, he gets sucked back in bounds because I think he's actually going to go out of bounds. But the tackle sucks him back in. Okay, I guess they're not challenging it. That's fine. Oh, what did I just run? I don't know. I, mean, I hit the wrong button. I run option pass. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Let's do, okay, I have no, I don't know what the audibles are. They weren't showing them on screen. Okay, that's okay. Oh, wait, that's wrong one. Go back. <laughs> now they're reviewing it, dang it. It was pretty good. I think he was in. I think he got two feet in. He's for sure going out of bounds, but the tackle sucks him back downwards. Yeah, pretty impressive throw. 
Car uh, Feathers pass has been very good. I wonder when split and drag and just. I just want to get something to Smith. Ball right around midfield. They'll throw on first down. Look at that. Look at him catch and hold on. What a beast. Oh, you know what? I wanted to get uh, I want to get Robbie 100 on purpose. So let's go here. Let's do a little. Oh, that's the wrong way. QB slot. EA Sports and Coca-Cola would like to congratulate Jacobs. Yeah, I'd say four picks. Yeah, that's game. probably player of the game. They come out with three wide receivers. There's a miss. Yes. <gasps> oh, I almost bowling balled him. Okay, I think. Oh, he's almost got a thousand. Okay, we got to get him a thousand. I thought we. I thought he was already there. No, actually, no. I should have taken that penalty. Let's go, Pierre Reed Flow, and see if we can hand it off. Offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca Cola. Well, we got to get him his thousand yard year, though. The Bulldog with four receivers. Oh no! Damn it! They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Okay, I'm actually gonna call timeout. Get him some rest. Fresno State will take a timeout. Uh, let's go. Let's go back to QB slot. So it's second and fourteen. Ball on the thirty-six. This might be another manual counter situation. Okay, they fade in, so that's good. Notre Dame lines up in a dime defense here. They go with the option. Yes, get it all back. Come on. And down he goes at the 29. I don't know if he has a thousand. Seven yards we can't chance it. We have to give it to him. Okay, let's go here and we'll go QB slot. Third, third We're so close. I don't I don't know though. He lost yardage on that other play. Don't fade over. Oh, gosh, of course they come over with that guy. Here's the option. Monture with a takedown at the 25. They call timeout. They'll take their first time out of the half. Dang it. And now he's out because he's hurt. He's tired. So what we gotta do is like. Where is this? There's something I gotta adjust. Like controls or Gameplay AI. Where is this? Where is this thing at? Visual. There's some. There's something where you can adjust controller layout. Sub out. So we just want to bring this down to get Robbie back in. You think he has it now? You sure? Because I'll leave him out if he has it. You pretty positive? If you're sure, I'll leave him out. Yeah, all right. I'm down. So this is an 80. It was like 80.75 or 80.70. Okay. So he he had a minus he had minus yards on a play though. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then mathematically that should do it. Uh, we'll run we'll run the use here slot whips. Yes. Yeah. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Ooh, okay, here we go. We're going to go to Wiley. Fresno State using an audible. Oh, oh, God, I forgot to snap it. I got two. I got, I was like looking at my D and everything. Or their D. Uh, fourth and eight. Okay, this is a little different situation. Let's run, let's run double cross. Yeah, let's run this. It's fourth down. Oh, this might go to Smith. This could be the ultimate meme master here. Here we go. Looking across the <gasps> Oh, we tried. We tried, man. Oh, I could have hit Wiley there. That's too bad. Well, we tried to hit him. What do you think of their choice to go for it there? Let me say one thing about that coaching decision. Kick the field goal next time. You'd be a lot better off. Yeah, I had Wiley, that's too bad. Yeah, I see I thought he I thought he did too. He didn't overthrow it that much by that much, right? I mean, it's right here. Like, I tried to do an animation. Maybe I just don't do an animation soon enough. Maybe I should have done it sooner. Basically, I try to run as far up to the spot as I can. Uh, and the thing is, too, because his catch rating and stuff is not that good in his awareness, I don't think he'll get much of a warp up. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, let's get number five. Hold on. 
We got number five for uh, for Ben Jacobs. Can we do this? Can we get pick number five? Uh, no, we want this. We want middle. Okay, here we go. They line up in the shotgun. Moves up in the pocket. Look over the middle. So close. And this blowout is finally over. Kirk, any final Good game. I have to say that I wasn't Look at that. Feathers got the, uh, yeah, he knew he didn't want, he didn't want Jacobs to get another pick. sure look disappointed. They just got to learn to move on and try to improve. We look forward to calling more games of NCAA Football 2007. But until then, our final score in this one, Fresno State 45. That was a good game. That felt good. That was fun. That's some of the most fun on offense I've had. Things were clicking. I also got more aggressive, and it paid off. I had some aggressive passes to Wiley on the outside. On posts, I had that sweet read to uh, Leonard where he broke. It was a good ballot cleanser. I absolutely agree. That's a very good way to put it. But I had that sweet play where I, yeah, where Leonard got deep against the three deep zone and the uh, safety stuck on Hayden. 427 offense. That's pretty good. I'm very happy about that. I took four sacks, but hey, I didn't throw any picks. I mean, that, I'll take the four sacks if it comes with 345 passing. Not bad at all. Didn't crack 100 rushing. They didn't they they defended my rush pretty rushing game pretty well. Mr. Red Zone, that's okay. Two fumbles, we'll take it. It's okay. Fumbles happen in this game. So how'd they do? 26, really bad, man. Six picks. I picked them up six times. Look at Carr. When's like if I had a 300 yard game this season? I don't know that I have. It's got to be his best game this season. But also, I was just, I was getting in aggressive, and I was getting it in there to uh, Wiley. So, Rouse, 11 for 69. He had some passes, too, though. So, he had, he had 17 total touches. That's pretty good. I don't feel as bad about not gaining him as many carries since I got him some catches. Car 11 for 3, so he ended up positive. That's nice. Wiley got on the board with some rushing. Wiley, 9 for 117. No touchdowns, but what a game. He had some really standout plays. Leonard, of course, got deep in the corner. Bennett caught a touchdown. What was his touchdown? Oh, he had the, uh, was it a corner? Uh, yeah, he had a corner out where the guy fell down. Smith in on the action. Dudley in on the action. We spread it around, man. It's so much fun spreading around like that. Not so much like the Paul Williams days where it was 14 catches for Paul Williams as well as probably seven rushes, and then we'll have like two guys with a catch after that. They spread it around pretty well, too. Pope, 113 and a touchdown. The tight end got on the board. Okay. Look at this, 10 pancakes. My guy's had four. He had 10 on his own. Not a huge surprise. It does happen. Wentworth with the sack, so he's a bit of a turnstile still. But he can he can, uh, he can can turn it around next year. So McDonald, five tackles. Pass deflection. Tito with two sacks. I kind of hope Tito stays, man. He's been he's been a lot of fun on defense. Now, like D line, I'm not. As, I'm I'm pretty stacked on D line though. We'll see we'll see what happens. Skinner with a good game. Ben Jacobs. He didn't have a tackle. Look at that. No tackles. He was too busy intercepting it. Like I don't have time for tackles. He didn't really want to. He didn't really want to get his jersey dirty today. He's like, hey, I'm a senior. It's my last game. I want this jersey to go in a frame. I'm going to go ahead and just not dirty it up so much. <laughs> a couple of pass deflections. They had some pass deflections. That's more than I usually have, but also I was forcing the ball more. Usually I don't even throw it to where guys can deflect it very much. Thirty-nine INT yards. We overall did not. I mean, how many defensive touchdowns we'd even have on the season? I guess we can go back and look at the stats. Gessling hit his fifty-yarder. We punted once. Good stuff. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> exactly. It's like I need to up the game tape. I need to show him I got hands. I got hands. I can cover. Nice. Good old insight.com bowl. So a couple things left here. We're going to do a stat check. And 
I think we're going to get our... I think we don't even have to advance to the end of the season, to the offseason, to get our sanction. So I think we're going to see what the sanctions are. TB Legendary, I know you've missed the last few games. Did you know that we're getting sanctions? Our, uh, our NCAA interest is about maxed. Let's see, what do we got? Who's in, like, the national championship and everything? Wisconsin, West Virginia. West Virginia, wow. They would have a long winning streak if it wasn't for me. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see what we get. Yeah, let's see. Let's, uh, let's simulate some of these. Tennessee, Texas. I thought I just simulated LSU, Ohio State. Am I, like, crazy or what? There we go. Ohio State wins it. Reed, Campanella, who are these guys? Oklahoma State, Clemson, not as interesting. Oklahoma, USC. Oh, wow, that's a rematch of, of epic proportions. USC pulls it out. Good for them. Pac-10 strong. Florida State, Florida. That's funny for a bowl game. Alabama, Cal. Sugar Bowl. Yeah, Cal. Way to rep the Pac-10. Very nice. All right, let's simulate the week. Yeah, I know, right? They just can't quite do it. Sooners. In year one, how high was the interest bar? I'm curious. Because I've heard it can be random. Like, it could only be half or a quarter. You can still get sanctions. Wisconsin, one loss. So, wait, hold on. Weren't there undefeated teams besides Wisconsin? Okay, I thought there was. I thought I saw one. I'm mistaken. Wisconsin, West Virginia. Let's see how it goes. Let's roll it. Let's see if West Virginia gets their revenge. They do by three. Look at that. Hands. They have a different guy at QB. See, we're above all this. We've beaten both of these teams. 34 and 62. That was a, this is a run filled type of affair. Advanced off season. We'll say no. Maybe we didn't get sanctions. When do you, okay, when do you usually find out about sanctions? Do you remember TB Legendary? Do you have to, uh, do you have to advance to off-season to see the sanctions? Let's look at stats. Oh, I can switch my thing over to end of season, so I do, I do have to advance it? Or should it just be... So, I guess maybe I didn't get any then. Because it's asking me if I want to advance, and I said no. So I'm thinking I didn't get any. Yeah. I just did all the bowl games. Yeah, we'll check. Oh, good call. Yeah, we'll check out uh, Illinois State. Yeah. So we may not have gotten sanctions. Because I, cause I agree. Because usually right now, it's also when you find out about... Well... <laughs> it's kind of true. Because <laughs> this is also when you find out about moving conferences, too. They tell you right after the, right after the last game. I know, right? Which one? Exactly. Good for West Virginia. Good for them. Good for them. We'll allow it. We'll allow it. All right, we're going to look at stats. A little stat review here. So the best passer of the season was Ryan Simon. 10 for 15, 150 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick. So I'm glad we ended up plus five on INT to touchdown ratio, or other way around, I guess. Touchdown INT. Oh, I know. Feathers with quite a good stat line. QB rating higher. Nine touchdowns, four picks. So hopefully next year we can throw fewer picks. Now that we kind of have what we're doing, we have it down a bit more. Look at Coach Bob with the arithmetic. Spot on arithmetic, sir. Feathers really was good. He was. He played, honestly, you could even say he played better than Carr. Carr made some more impressive throws, though. But feathers was good. It, it, I appreciate that because I was about to put it back in and risk getting and risk having it taken away. But I because I wasn't sure that he had it. I was about to roll the dice. Lawrence, not bad. You're not that good, so I'm glad you got at least 4.3 per carry. That's not too bad. So what was it? Carr ended up with he might, minus 32. For some reason, I thought he was positive. I guess that was on the game he had plus three. So we're still looking for that elusive, elusive positive rushing. Although last year he might have had it last year. It's possible. 
So yeah, we got the thousand there. Wiley didn't couldn't quite get him to the thousand. But what a good season for him. Doubled his catches, over doubled his yardage, just about doubled his touchdowns. And he got a couple of carries. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, they do. Yeah, it's true. I like the spread. Leonard, so Bennett down there a bit, but look at his touchdowns. His touchdowns are pretty good, and his average is very high. So Thomas Bennett was at least, I know I selected, but I'm going to say Bennett, and I said Thomas. I was looking at his first name. At least he he got some big plays in. Dudley with five touchdowns. That was, that's five very sneaky touchdowns, I'll tell you what. I did not. I would not have guessed he had five touchdowns. Hayden with some action, too. That's pretty good. Smith had a touchdown. Oh, that's right. Smith. Yeah, Smith had that touchdown. Yeah, hey, yeah Hayden got in on it. I mean, it's... We spread it around, man. I, I'm pretty happy about that. I mean, my fourth receiver with 20 catches, that's pretty good. Rouse, quite a bit out of the backfield there. So he ran it 160 times. We threw it a lot more than that. We also had 48 catches. And pretty much what you expect from catching out of the backfield. 8.8 .8 per carry is pretty good. Because his plays, the, the passes he catch, the passes that he catch, passes, passes that he catches? What, what's my grammar doing? I'm so confused right now. The type of passes that he catches are not super high potential. Not like receivers running routes. Yeah, very fun year. I'm glad we ended it well. I mean, overall, it was a super fun year. Plenty of pancakes. Wentworth. Okay, so if he didn't give up those two, Spencer actually would have given up more. But he had 22 pancakes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Airborne oblong spheroids that he gains into his personal uh, possession. Skinner. Skinner with the main tackler. He's he's the top tackler. Eight tackles for loss as well. That's pretty good. Marquise. 12 sacks. I didn't realize he had 12 sacks. That's awesome. I usually don't get double-digit sacks. He might be going pro now. Oh, I'm definitely going to miss Wiley. Wiley's a playmaker. Thankfully, thankfully, um, we have other playmakers. Leonard. Okay, Leonard's gone. Dudley makes plays. Dudley makes some plays. He's a lot of fun. Bennett does too. Bennett's tall and reliable. Wiley, though. Wiley had so many highlight reel catches, man. Oh my gosh, right? And his stats are more... His stats are a bit more like a... Like in real life, he was a good, pretty good receiver. He was more of like a slot, agile guy. He probably has more speed than he would have in real life. He'd probably be like an 88 or 89 speed, but very high agility. Yeah, the dude, he was such a good playmaker. He, he has that, that that secret factor, whatever it is. He was very, yeah, it's true, he was fast. But I mean, 92, I mean, maybe like a 90. He wasn't, I mean, he probably ran like a 4.5. Was he really a sub 4.4? I guess he was so agile that I just think of him more as the quick type of guy. But I guess maybe that's like burst. Like burst is like a 4.6, but he could juke anyone. Oh, wow, look, Leonard had almost as many yards as him. Okay. There's your guy for your gosh. Leonard, sneaky. I mean, we knew that he was a good receiver. I'm glad that he got a good year in like that. I mean, what a huge year for both of these guys. 17 catches to 54, 291 yards to 727, two touchdowns to five. Similar improvement here. What about Bennett? Bennett actually went down. Because Bennett, you know what? Bennett was slot last year. He went from slot to Y, and it just didn't, it's not as good. Dudley getting in on the action. I like Dudley, man. Dudley's a lot of fun. Hayden. Hayden's definitely fun. So, yeah, we might be, we'll see what kind of receivers we end up with. We might run a lot more tight end sets next season if we don't get significant improvement at, at receiver. Because we're basically looking at, who are we looking at? Bennett, if he improves, I mean... Very, very high improvement. He'd be a 90, 88 to 90. Dudley, he's probably going to be like an 84, 85. So it's not going to be as good on the receiving course. So we might have to have Hayden step up, which is going to change our play calling because we call tons of four receiver sets. 
Anyway, the man of the hour, Ben Jacobs. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. He's a blazer then. He should have fire, higher speed then, like 95 probably. 48 tackles, 4 for loss. Only one sack, but we didn't blitz him a ton. Didn't blitz him a ton, but 8 picks. Turnover machine, 8 forced fumbles. A fumble recovery. See, you can't, it's a bit much to ask. You can't recover that many fumbles when you're causing all the fumbles. Eight force fumbles. Where'd it go? I passed by it already. Eight picks. Wow. That's wild, man. So he only had four before that. I could look at last year. So last year he had four. So he actually met his total before the bowl game. He had the same total as last year. Wow, that's a hell of an athlete. If Daniel is here, he could. we could tell you about how uh, Daniel and I beat him and his friend in a game of two-on-two -two basketball one time. And I could see the vert is crazy. I mean, he wasn't very tall, but when he went up for rebound, he basically just levitated. You just saw magically like three feet of space appear between his feet and the ground. It was insane. But they weren't good at basketball, and we beat him. And that was around a time when Daniel and I played a ton of basketball. Yeah. It was pretty cool. And his friend, I don't think he was a football player. He might have been. His friend is pretty athletic, too, but I don't know that he was on the team or anything like that. But what a career here. 24 picks, 18 forced fumbles. Four sacks, more of a coverage guy. This is kind of like a Zach Thomas type of guy. I mean, in stat-wise, like Zach Thomas didn't get tons of sacks because he was in coverage so often. I almost got 200 tackles. Crazy. Skinner, hopefully Skinner comes back. I mean, we'll see. Hopefully everybody that's good comes back. We'll see, though. Skinner could go pro, though. I mean, he can move. He's agile. He's quick. He's strong. He can tackle. I mean, this is he's a pretty good pro prospect himself for an outside linebacker. Who else? J.R. McDonald. I mean, he was very good. Uh, definitely kind of a quieter, like, safeties without the dot don't make tons of plays. But man, ton of tackles there. I wonder how he got so many more tackles than last year. Because he started last year too. Skinner was, yeah, Skinner really was, man. Tackles, he was he was doing his own thing. He was getting some sacks. He got a ton of pressures now. Only two sacks, but he got to the QB all the time. McDonald, eight pass deflections. He made more plays, made more tackles too. But yeah, wasn't he starting last year? I'm surprised he has twice as many tackles. Maybe we were on defense defense more. Edwards, another really good player, man. We're losing Edwards, too. Wow. 97 overall. Oh, yeah, I need to check uh, all-conference stuff. He must have. Yeah. No, it was Edwards that got hurt, though, because that's when we had, we had guys like Greg Wright getting a lot of tick. It was Edwards that got hurt or suspended. So I don't, I don't think he did. Rogers. Rogers pretty good. 90 overall. Also kind of quiet. Five picks. But secondary, they just don't make as many plays. They get tackle. Well, they get some tackles. That's pretty good tackle numbers. Slade Powell. Not a bad first season. One sack. This guy made a lot of plays too, though. He's getting tackles. Got a couple of picks. He got to the QB a good amount as well. Chris Carter. Three sacks. Another guy. Like, sacks not high, but he got to the QB all the time. No picks. So that's right in line with him. We also blitzed them a lot. We rushed them a lot. So guys that rush don't get that many stats. But, oh, he also missed a few games, right? He missed three games with injury. Gun. Not a bad season. Six pass deflections. Travis Brown, he's going to be a beast. He's already an 88 overall. Was it four games? I thought it was four weeks, but it ended up being three games. Or did he miss four games? He might have missed four games. Marquise, the man. 12 sacks. That's so good, man. That's exciting. Rushing. Rushing's pretty good. 80 for Merced. Yeah, I mean, it's not a big difference either way. Laney James is pretty good. UConn, Oklahoma. 89 overall. Got his two sacks. I, I just, I'm really surprised Mar Marquise, 12 sacks. I didn't even know he had double digit. He might have broken double digit in that last game, though. Wolf 10 tackles. Okay, he plays kickoff coverage then. J. 
Jim Banks. Banks pretty good. He's a 90. Backup. Maurice Green. This guy's fun, man. I'm excited about him. Mostly on kickoff coverage. We'll see if he translates at all to offense. Probably won't, but that's okay. Yeah, that's true. That's actually a great point. That's a great point. Yeah, let's look at uh, let's look at the awards here. Uh, let's look at all Americans. So, I would think I would. It's going to be a tough call on whether Tito gets it. He didn't get that many tackles. He might be second team. Ben Jacobs should be first team, and Gessling. I don't know who else would though. Didn't even get first team All American. Ben Jacobs. I guess not enough tackles. This guy got 80 tackles. Ben Jacobs got what 48. So Gessling's it. Yeah, he he probably will be. He's kind of a hard hitter too, which is fun. Second team. Show me second team, Tito. Oh my gosh, he didn't even get second team. Neither did uh, neither did uh, neither did Ben Jacobs. Pauses. Green got the return award for a uh, freshman. I mean, twenty-two seven is a pretty good average. That's not bad. Yeah, I know, but if you look at the... Let's see, he didn't get a touchdown, huh? I could have sworn he got. So he had 9.9 .9 average on punts. Yeah, let's look at their their tackles, though. This guy had 80. This guy had 78 tackles. Five sacks. Yeah, we only had 48, and I think one sack. Five picks. Five force fumbles. I mean, we destroyed those turnover numbers, but yeah, we didn't quite get it. I've, hopefully, we got packed in. Robbie Rouse, first team packed. No, second team. Well, the second team is still pretty good. Harris. Harris is quite good. 89. Our, our O line is very stacked. Here we go. First team all packed in. That sounds about right. Watch, second team, he probably has like 70 tackles. Yep, 63. 15 for loss. Willie Williams. There's a real guy named Willie Williams, I'm pretty sure. I think he played for maybe the Hurricanes. So only two first teams. All, first team all packed in. Rouse. Wait, well, who do you get here? Kyle Bell, 1470. Oh, that's a really good, that's a really good season for that guy. 1400 all purpose. Wow. 13 touchdowns. How did he get second team? His stats don't seem that good, like good enough for second team. I don't know what that's about. Hmm. Interesting. Who else? Wolf at center. Spencer at tackle. Okay. Rogers. Okay. Nice. Nice. Five picks, 32 tackles. Oh, there's no freshman. No freshman pack 10. So there you go. Oh, you know what we need to look for? Is there any chance that A.J. Jefferson not here? Hey, there we go. Look at that. There we go. Full circle, man. How about that? Hats off. You like that, Coach Bob? Straight out of Visalia. <laughs> Second team all whack. Awesome. Oh, how'd UCLA end up? Let's look at that real quick. Yeah. Pretty good. They threw at him a lot for some reason. Uh, let's see. I wanted to look at standings. Where is the whack? UCLA seven and six. Hey, TB Legendary, I was curious about this. Do you know whether other teams will change conferences besides the user team? Because I feel like they don't. Because I was kind of hoping for a while that Utah or somebody would come into the Pac-10, but it hasn't happened, and I thought it really had a good chance. But, yeah, see, I, I was curious about that. Like, Program Prestige 1. There's a couple of one-star, like Oregon State's a one-star. I really felt like somebody from the WAC or Mountain West could have made the jump, but none of them did. Like Utah, they're a, they're a five-star prestige. Yeah, it just doesn't seem like it does. 
West Virginia Cal, Wisconsin USC. So where do we end up? 17, we'll take that. We'll definitely take it. Utah finishing strongly again. Pretty cool, man. Well, I guess that'll do it. Is it time to check out uh, India, <laughs> Illinois State? <laughs> Obsidian would punch me for almost saying Indiana. So yeah, we're gonna check out. We'll check out Illinois State, and that'll do it for the video for our main man, Obsidian. The Redbirds. I remember, the main thing I remember about Illinois State is they had a very good basketball player. And his name was Osiris something. And he was really good. Exciting player. Where are we at? Game features. Let's see what we got. I'm pretty sure they're in here. Yeah, here we go. Look at this. Their QB is a 59 overall. Freshman, though, he's got room to grow. He can grow into his uh, 72 throw power. Halfback number five, 87 speed. Okay, I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of the top halfbacks in all of 1AA. I really wouldn't be surprised. That's pretty good. I mean, this makes it almost viable to run this team against a good, an actual good team because you just give this guy the ball all the time. Receiver, pretty bad. No speed, not really that good. Center, 48 overall. I feel like I'd be a 48 overall center in this game. Okay, we have a middle linebacker that can do things-ish. Corner's good. Look at this. Look at their secondary. 72, 85 speed, 76 with 90 speed. Okay, okay, we were working with something here. Free safety, not as hot. I might even take this corner and put him at free safety just to get some speed at safety. They're too young. <laughs> They're a little green. They're a little green, a little bit green at corner. That's funny. So overall, they're a D. Not that bad, really. Halfback, 76. Okay, let's look at all the. Let's look at. Let's compare to all all the teams. Halfback. Wow, they have some good players on here, huh? I didn't know that. T. Tennessee State. I wonder if some of these guys are pros. Harvard. Wow, they actually have some good. Where's the guy? Where's our guy at though? Where's our Illinois State Redbird? Nope. Did I pass him already? I might have passed him. Wait, this wasn't this wasn't it, was it? Red Hawks. Wait a minute, that's not him, is it? Southeast Missouri. Oh, the name of this college is there. I missed it. Why don't I see him? I thought he was a 78. There he is. Receiver. There's some receivers here. Western Carolina. The, the Cats. Catamounts? Is that the Catamounts? Western Carolina? That's somebody else. Alright, well, I think I'm about to hop off here. I might have to do a challenge sometime where I take, like, a uh, one double a team and put them against somebody really hard. Because it is kind of fun. Look at this. The highest rated corner of the game is not impact. William & Mary. Who's better on William & Mary than that guy? He's a 90. Yeah, sounds good, TV Legendary. Yeah, I know, right? Like, what's up with this? Who on the team is better? He's the best player on the team, and he's not impact. Left outside linebacker, who else? Wait. They're... F what? <sighs> EA Sports. 68 fullback. Goodness. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. All right, well, I'm going to hop off. I'm going to end the video there. Thanks for watching, everybody. It was a good season. And we'll be back with our recruiting video, and we'll do we'll probably do a little bit more season recap for the recruiting video. So we'll see you next time with that. Peace.